Hi, I'm Carrick. It might make sense to put some solar panels on a house, but what about lots of solar panels on big buildings? Today we're going onto the roof of one of the biggest solar panel installations in the U.S. I'm at the headquarters of Google in Mountain View, California for a special tour. Let's go check it out. Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure, is brought to you in part by Energy Federation Incorporated, where saving energy is easy. Hi, I'm Carrick. Hi Carrick, I'm Anthony, it's nice to meet you. So today we're here at Google and we're going to go see our solar panel installation up on our roof and in our parking lot. So are you ready to check it out? Yeah. All right, should we go? Yeah. All right. So Carrick, this is the top of what's called Building 43, where we, you can see solar panels all around you. We have solar panels on eight rooftops and in two parking lots on our campus. And it's a total of 1.6 megawatts is the technical term, which is about enough to power a thousand homes in California. And we, that's, so each one of these is one panel. We have 9,212 of them all over our campus. It's a whole lot of panels. Can you imagine that? No. So all day long when the sun is out, they produce electricity and they power all of our buildings. And it covers about a third of our electrical load during the day so that we don't have to take power from all of the, the power plants during the day when the sun is shining. Or at least we take a lot less. So you can see that all the solar panels face to the south. They tilt slightly to the south and that's because the sun is always up in that part of the sky. And so we want to make sure that the solar panels face towards the sky and towards the sun all the time so that they produce as much electricity as possible and there's no shadows on all of our solar panels. So why did Google decide to go with solar panels instead of wind turbines? Or? Well, we've looked at lots of different technologies and we try out different things all the time. But here in California, it's really sunny most of the year and we have a great climate. So solar was really the best fit for our campus here. And we had all these empty rooftops sitting here. So it was the best way to make use of our space and our solar resources here in California. So if you type in solar, so if you type solar into Google, are you the first one that comes up? That's a good question. I don't think so. Maybe, but I don't think so. I think if you type in Google solar, it might be the first one to come up, but not just solar. Because there's a lot of other people who have done even bigger solar projects than we have. Ours has been here for about two years, um, and when we installed it, it was way bigger than anyone else's in the United States. And we're really excited that solar has been so successful and is growing so rapidly that now there are many more projects like this around the country as well. So why did Google put in all these solar panels? Was it for green reasons or business decisions? So this was a really great investment, but it was also something that we thought was the right thing to do and that was good for the environment. So we we're really reducing our carbon footprint and our environmental footprint overall by having the solar panels. And it's something that it cost us a lot of money to do up front, but it's going to pay for itself in about seven years. And then after seven years, we get free electricity for the lifetime of the panels, and we think they'll be up here for maybe 40 years. So that sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Yeah. Free electricity for, for up to 40 years after just seven years of paying for it. And so they are all wired together, and all the electricity flows all the way through the system and then goes through these pipes that you see here. It's called conduit to a, a machine called an inverter that takes the power that's called direct current from the solar panels and turns it into what's called alternating current, which is the electricity we use in our houses and in our buildings. And so it cleans up the power and makes it usable by all of our electronic devices. And it makes it so that if we produce more solar electricity than we're using in the building, we can even put it back on the grid for other people to use in their houses. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. At Google, they're not just powering the buildings with solar, they're charging electric cars too. The rooftops of the parking lots are covered with solar panels, which charge up these plug-in electric cars for employees to use. So thanks for showing me around today. Carrick, thank you so much for coming. This has been really fun. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Watch your uh, hand. Anthony? Okay. Yeah? I don't get it. Why is this lock? Nobody's going to steal a solar panel. That is a good question. Well, what if someone jumped out of a helicopter and landed in our roof and tried to get in our building? Mm. What is there to steal at Google besides computers? Lots of really smart ideas. 